if you're running ads to your websites at this time without your Facebook pixel installed on your websites, it's time to shut them down. So go ahead, open up another tab, or if you're on your phone, go to your Facebook ads app and pause all of your ad campaigns right now. Seriously, your Facebook pixel is that important. And today I share with you exactly why that is. And also I'm gonna share with you how to install your Facebook pixel correctly. Hey, it's Jaime. If we're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. The Facebook Pixel is designed to measure performance, build your audience, and drive sales. It's also designed to give you insights, find your audience, and give you more conversions. So what does all that mean? The Facebook Pixel is designed to help you build an audience that's customized to you only to you. Also, it helps you measure. It helps you measure what's working and what's not working. Also, it helps you optimize and scale what's working based off of all of the data and conversions that your Facebook pixel is picking up. Now, those are all the functions and the benefits of a Facebook pixel, but what exactly is the pixel? The Facebook pixel is nothing but a piece of code that goes on your websites. But the most important aspect of the Facebook pixel is that it will not work unless you hit the like button. Seriously, it's that important. Here we are at the events manager where we're gonna create our Facebook pixel and then we're gonna go over and install it on several different platforms so you get an understanding of how to actually do it. All right, so to get to the events manager, you just go to the toolbar, you see here, you're gonna, whenever you log into your ads manager, you're gonna end up at your ads manager, which is right there. And you're gonna go to pixels, which is where we're at right now. Just click on pixels and you end up right here. If this is the first time that you're creating a Facebook pixel, then you're gonna have a big green button right there in order to create it. If you've already created a Facebook pixel in the past, then you're gonna have the data source and also a number associated to it and the amount of clicks that you're getting. So regardless of where you're at, the steps after we go through and create a pixel are gonna be the same. So create a pixel. And then on this particular ad account, this is what I want to call it. And you see, check, uh, check your website for easy setup options. We don't need to do that. We can actually do it manually, but you can, you're more than welcome to use your URL there but I'm gonna show you the manual way. We're gonna to go to continue. And if you've already created, again, that Facebook pixel and you wanna adjust it for whatever reason or want to install it, then this is a page that you're going to see. Over here, you have the um, setup, which is where we're at right now. But as you saw, we created our pixel from scratch today. If we have a website that directly integrates with our Facebook, then we would click right there. So if you have a Eventbrite um, event going on, if you have Squarespace, if you have WordPress, if you have Kajabi, whatever it is, if it's right here, you just click on it and go through four to five different steps and you're off and running. Very simple to do, very simple to do the partner integration. We're gonna do the manual ad of the Facebook pixel to our website. This is the most manual way to do it. And if you don't wanna mess with anything, but, um, but know how to get here, all you have to do is go to your email uh, in here and go get your email instructions so you can send them over to your developer. So if you have an IT person, a website ma uh, website master, whatever the case may be, a webmaster, uh, you can send it directly to them from here. So you have various options. You can do the partner integration, you can do it manually, or you can send the pixel to somebody that is managing your website in order to do it. So we're gonna go to manual. And this is the important part right here. You have the base code, which is what we're gonna need. And then you see turn on automatic advanced matching. You see off and on. So there you go. Use information that your customers have already provided to your business. So we're gonna leave that on. And we're gonna left click right here and we're gonna go to a website. Let's go to our KV Core. We're gonna go to our web. We're gonna go to edit settings. So this is the KB Core has my website. So this is me injecting the website code to the header. So you see right here, custom header. And you see right here, it even gives you Facebook retargeting pixel. This is where it's at. 
I actually don't want it in this particular ad account or in this particular account. So this is a different pixel. So I'm not going to put it in here, but this is where you would go to do it. Now, very similar. If you have other websites, you're looking for the header code. You're looking for that ability. Now, if you have a landing page generator like ClickFunnels, which is what I have. And if you're interested in the free trial, just I'll link it down below so you can give it a try. You don't have to use this, of course. There's other landing page generators out there. But in case you have ClickFunnels, which is a very popular landing page generator, I want to show you how to do it on ClickFunnels. This is the sales funnel for my Facebook ads mastery for real estate leads. So I'll also link that down below if you're interested in generating real estate leads like you're seeing on the channel. So that uh, that pixel that I created, that is actually towards my new brand, the franchise agent, which I'll have more of an update later on in this, uh, this month to illustrate kind of what that is and um, why I decided to change the uh, name. Anyway, so we're gonna go to settings and I do want to put my new Facebook pixel here. This is my old Facebook pixel. So if I expand it, you're going to see several different things. You're going to see my global site tag right there. And then you're going to see other, other items. So my G tags. But for our purposes today, I just need to replace this Facebook pixel code with the new one. So I just highlighted it and did control or command V. If you're on PC, it's control V. So all I do now is go down here, save an update, and the Facebook pixel is installed now. So what I can do now is manually have the uh, pixel fire. We're going to go back over here. And then you see test the base code. So I can come and get the URL if I want. It will have already fired because I um, did the preview here, but let's just be better safe than sorry. So I'm going to put it here. I'm going to send the test traffic, which opens up the page. And then now it's going to update. And you see now it's active. So we're going to go to continue. And you can set up an event at this point, which an event is something that you want to measure on your page. That's basically all it is. So we can actually do that right now to show you how to do that. We're going to go to event setup and let's just see, do we have an event? Yeah, we have an event right there. So I'm going to go and put the website URL, meaning the event that I want to track is somebody giving me their contact information, open up the website. So track a new button and it picks up the button that has um, where you submit. So people put their name and put their email address. And it tracked the button that actually makes it go. So click on a highlighted button to set up your event. Now we get to just click on that. Select an event. They become a lead. Confirm. There you go. Go to finish setup. They become a lead. So you set up that event. You're going to go to finish. And it brought us automatically to the business manager to our ad accounts. So we're going to go to test events, open your website in a new event, and interact with it. So open website. We're going to test it out. Get this now. There we go. And there we go. It's receiving activity. You have made the intangible which is facebook pixel just so abstract so confusing so overwhelming and you made it a reality that's all it takes it as you saw it takes just a couple of minutes and this is me narrating everything along the way if you follow all the steps that you need and everything that you saw today you will have created the perfect setup for your business the perfect setup for your facebook pixel